Hello everyone and welcome to Elxius Plays Tron 2.0 which unfortunately I can't control through I can't let control OBS through Tron. Uh, that's me. Hello. I'm looking at that screen but you're there. Uh, it's webcam day. That's actually my phone that I'm looking at. So uh, he hello uh, via my phone. This is probably one of my favourite games. I have had this game since it came out. In fact, today I was looking through all my old DVDs and the only thing that I found that I care about is Tron 2.0 the original disc, including the original CD key, but I did buy this on Steam because I didn't want you lot to have to hear the noise that this CD player makes when it has a CD in it. I swear to God, it's not worth it. I found an unopened version of Animatrix. Uh, Diablo 2, which I <laughs> thought I was going to get rid of, but, you know, let's play. Hit me up. Uh, and Tron itself, the collector's edition, with two discs. Two discs. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm don't worry about things falling. It's just Animatrix. The only reason I kept Animatrix unopened is that it might be worth something. So, uh, this is... For the longest time I thought this was actually a sequel to Tron. Because it's called Tron 2.0. Tron being one of my favourite games. Uh, favourite films of all time. Um, in theory it's not. But I thought that at the time it was supposed to be. But of course we've got Tron Legacy uh, in the mid-2000s. That sort of overwrote this whole thing. But I think this is a much better spiritual successor to Tron because in Tron if you don't know the film the people things happen ultimately there is a laser that turns people into digital and um, they get put into the computer and then most of the film happens sort of inside sort of a, a, an anthropomorphized bunch of programs and, and arenas and stuff like that all weird and cool and, and awesome and you should watch the film uh, but it takes real people from the real world, puts them in the computer, and then they're like, what the hell's going on? Um, this does the same thing. We'll see in the intro to this, that laser. Um, but making a video game out of that made so much more sense than just making another film, which is why I like this. So I'm going to put this on hard mode. I don't think I've tried on insane mode, but I don't think that'll be t too entertaining. So let's just, uh, let's just play. <sighs> I require. I'm just a simple email script. I. I know what you are, and I know what you'll become. Early 2000s graphics make me happy. What is your function? I serve Forge, my master user. Cinematic openings. Jet, do you think your dad would mind if I had some of his just popcorn? Very much undervalued, I think. Sure, have all you want. Yeah. I'm a little surprised you turned down the level six programming position. Matrix area mobile phones. Look, Dad, I know you're disappointed. Damn right, I'm disappointed. I pulled a lot of strings to get you that offer. I'm happy making games. Life is short, Pop. I plan to enjoy it. <sighs> you sound like Flynn. <coughs> Busy. Hold on, son. Mathria, run a security diagnostic. Yes, Alan One. Results. A virus has entered the system via email. Lab drives one, two, and four infected. Jet, we'll have to continue this conversation later. It's very Half-Life in its uh, style. I, I think it was made in the original Half-Life engine. Well, not the original Half-Life engine. Dad? An extension of it. Dad, can you hear me? So it's going to have that sort of retro feel. Remember, we play Quake on this channel, and this is the retro baiting section. Sue, expect retro. What do you mean? Contingency protocol activated. I hear you. Stop talking over the the subtitles. Read the subtitle. Put on goggles. Clear digitizing bay. The chap that just called this chap, that was a character from the original Tron film who worked on the original... I think he worked on the original project for this laser. He was one of the people who... I think he actually did end up going into the computer himself, but um, it was actually Jeff Bridges in that film who played the guy who did that. Uh, so that was called Jeff Bridges, I believe, is the same guy from The Big Lebowski. 
Don't quote me on that, but I think so. Um, so here we go with Tron 2.0. In a minute, we're going to play it. Here we go. I'll just skip the intro. It's cool, but not that cool. Mathria, what did you do? So you are a user. Fascinating. There's a fast mouse. Uh, one, continue basic training. Well, user, now that you... Wait. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, never press this display button. This game was never written to be um, 1080p. So it's not been hacked, I was going to say. It's been patched by the community. So I'm trusting it. Um, but... That's... Okay. Uh, if you go to that display menu, it resets to horrible. There are a few crucial functions you'll have to learn if you hope to survive the system. I'm sending you a help file. You can view help files at any time by pressing the number 8 key. Help files. A brief description of the government from the universe. I have a question about to close a help file, uh, press escape or action. Fine. Thank you for a help file on help files. Mostly, they typically contain important information. I don't know if we'll be necessarily reading too many of those, but I'm going to have to remember how this game works, so we'll be in this together. To I'm got a habit of looking over here when I'm talking to, to you. That's not normally there. The <laughs> the um, for some reason, I've been assuming that you're over there, but basically when I talk to the camera, I look at the OBS screen just to make sure everything's working. And now there is a camera. The other talk icon will appear over a program's head when he or she has useful information. Press F to initiate conversation. Hello. Six more subdirectories have been compromised. The corruption the managed to slip past our scheduled scans. Obviously an inside job. To continue your training, activate the help programs that display the talk icon. I like that they can get away with making them look all robotic because they're computer. Hello. Tell me about player movement. The basic player movements are forward, backward, straight left, straight right, crouch, and jump. The mouse is used to look around. You can also look around corners. Here's a help file with more information. That concludes the basic. I can lean left and right? What? This game has it all. Tell me about, about my status display. status display. The status display shows your objectives and tasks. Press the tab key to see an example. Here's a help file with more information. This is Byte. Bye, Byte. That's fine. I'm not going to read it. But I... <laughs> Tell me about build points. We should take less so buttons to get rid of it. Digital world. Build points will be added to your version number. You get version numbers. So this has RPG elements, which has been crowbarred into the idea of version numbers. We get to upgrade ourselves um, without any development. Wishy washy. Don't think too hard about it. Press F1 key to manage your performance rating. Nice. Right. So I remember this very well. We'll get to this soon. Um, you start. That's where you would put your skills, but you start to get corrupted as you meet corruption in the world. Um, so over time, you lose your abilities as, until you kill the virus, literally. I'm now Jet version 1.0, so I came in in Alpha and now we're ready for release. I uh, press F8, not 8. Build notes. If you have a build note, it would increase your build point total whose level contains a finite quantity of build notes. A counter in the upper left hand corner is a total build notes versus total build notes available in each level. There are a total of 100 build notes available in the game. A global build note counter can be found in the subroutine menu. <laughs> build note. Face the build note and press the action key. I'm going to be leaning a lot because this is the default action key and now it's a lean key. Mithria is trying to talk to me. Performance ratings. Health boosts your health. Energy boosts your energy weapon efficiency. Transfer rate, uploads and downloads. Processor increases the speed of your port, defrag and disinfect procedurals. So the background processes that you can do, um, if you, like you can find skills that don't work for your architecture. So it's kind of, it's using normal computer words and it's not using them horribly. Um, so you can defrag for when things start, you get fragmented. And then a disinfectant is big because the whole of the computer started being corrupted by this virus and you need to disinfect your slots in order to put things in it. So here we have base code. Memory block is unavailable. Subroutine is right. So here's where you put your subroutine. But to and from and you put them in here. And we are going to actually upgrade these. 
uh, I think we should probably start with energy. Yeah. Um, I'm probably going to go for a sort of... Traditionally in these games I play um, some sort of ranged character. So I would normally put a lot of points into making a sniper build and take things out from a distance. But I'm old now and part of growing up is to do things outside of your comfort zone. And I believe that with all my heart. So I'm going to try doing something a little bit more gung-ho. So I'm going to go for health and energy. Um, uh, we might as well start with some transfer rate because we know that we're going to need it soon. Oh, that's processor. Um, transfer rate. We're going to start finding things that we're going to want to download, basically. Um, okay. Now what? Finish? That what? Uh, why have I got a Mithria? The thing on the left is Mithria, I recognize. Tell me Mithria things. Has just requested an IO note oh! with you. Mithria? Really? Task update. Followed by some... Access an IO node and receive Mithria's message. Access help file for more information. Uh, IO nodes received. Okay, so we're looking for an IO node. Show me an IO node. Where's Byte gone? Byte? Byte? Oh. So these are IO nodes, I suppose. Tell me about IO nodes. IO nodes are how programs communicate when not in the vicinity of each other. IO nodes, like most objects, require a permission set to activate. The segmented ring surrounding the reticle will indicate what permissions are missing. I can't use this. Objects such as this IO node face the object and press. But I don't have permission in this sector. That's it. It's basically a, a glorified keycard. You do not have the proper permission set to activate this object. Agreed. This way. A user. Don't call me that in front of the program. You're gonna get a complex. Hey, which way? Whoa. Beans. And why have you locked the programs in these things? Whoa, you are Tell me about oh, nippy, archive bro. Bins. Archive bins can contain permissions, emails, help files, and subroutines. Subroutines. Like most objects, they require a permission set skills. to activate. To activate, face the archive bin and press the action key. But I can't even do it. An empty archive bin exhibits no item nodes. That about covers it. Give me like permissions. Don't have the proper permission set to access this archive bin either. Wait, I've got it here somewhere. Here you go. Now that you have the proper permission set, I can open this. Download an item from an archive bin. Select the corresponding. But that will speed up board. as we put points in transfer speed. If I go out of frame, it's not my fault. I'm new to this. Miss me with your complaining. Right, Mithria, for goodness sake, can you use an unpermissioned channel next time? What do I need a disc for? 2020! Please, you need to take your solid state memory module before. Why is it? Handling a disc is tricky. I strongly suggest a quick combat tutorial. I'm gonna do this because apparently I don't have a choice, but also, I really like the disc mechanic in this game. It's lifted from Tron itself, almost directly, but I get to do it myself. Yes, 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 yes. Tell me about energy transfer. Yeah. Transfer the energy. To operate properly, to transfer energy to a bit, face the bit, then press and hold the action key. When the meter displayed in the HUD fills up, the transfer is complete. Gotcha. Push him. Oh yeah. Charge that dude. There we go. That cost me 30 of my good own energy, so you better do what you're flipping well told. I think it knows what to do. Yeah, it doesn't need any need any help. Get in there. There we go. Nice, nice. IP data stream to combat training area two way. Not all transfer that's a transfer name. Not all of them are bidirectional. Oh yeah, these like half life. There's a lot of to pick up your disc, tropes. Face it and press the action key. Give me. Oh, yeah. That's right. And then, Choing. go back. Then you press the right mouse button if you want it back. <laughs> Leaning. Oops. Go over there. 
I was tempted to put the camera there. I elected not to. I mean, cause, it's because of reasons. Right, uh, do we just go? Ready. This? Push this. Two new combat training. I don't even see those. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, show enough, Lisa. Oh, patch roots. <laughs> yeah, right. I remember this. I'm already doing it correctly. Press the left mouse button to throw it. The right mouse button to bring it back. Thanks for the, the comments there. I'm ready! Throw the disc. Click and release the left mouse button. Oh, you can steer it, yeah. Back! even terminate it. What did I break? Oh, don't let me go back any further. Go. Yeah. Right, no more messing around. We've got to get there. The um, I played this game so much and I had so much of an influence on me that at the time I was making a lot of levels for Unreal Tournament uh, and I did make a Tronny um, multiplayer, oh, obviously multiplayer, it was Unreal Tournament, or uh, Tron like map for Unreal Tournament and it was really really difficult and awkward to make. I didn't have any of these um, effects really and then I tried to uh, mimic this again in UT 2003 so that's probably about the time that it was 2003. Wait, 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 wait. You missed me. You missed. Oh. It would help if you actually, you know, hit me. I'm wondering if the uh, enemies are Differently, sort of. But I feel like he's launching it pretty quickly, you know? I'm wondering if the difficulty level increases the. Am I doing? I wonder if the uh, the speed of their attacks and stuff like that and the accuracy of them, etc., are uh, influenced by that difficulty. As well as. Oh, there we go. Just took a long time. Nice. What did you give me? That's right, you have to download the stuff. So, this happens in combat. And they um, disappear after a while. So, you can find yourself needing to pick up the... Uh, possibly the health and energy from it. But also... Oh, I'm going to go and get the HP. Whoa! Uh, but you might need the stuff that's in it, but it won't let you because it really hurt. Um, I, I, I'm so used to games saving at a transition that I, uh, we're just not. <clears throat> okay. Uh, in that case, let's just cut. Anyway, as I was saying, the, uh, stuff inside the core dump is often kind of useful, but of course you're in combat, so... You don't want to stand around downloading all that stuff, so you got to be... That's why transfer speed is good, to be honest with you. Uh, where did you go? Here we are. Uh, escape this sector before succumbing to the corruption. Let's go then. Um, yeah, so I was trying to mimic a lot of this using things available to me. You need to UT 2003 engine, but that was uh, very difficult to get behind because it was so... So much more that I needed. Uh, uh, more in terms of skills, I just didn't have the skills to do it. Basically, um, I don't know what you're saying to me. Things. Something's gone horribly wrong. Yeah. Robbie failed to transmit a data packet to my user. He 
must have been corrupted. He was so young. So many cycles left. That like those writing these programs that have human emotion. <clears throat> it would have been probably better for everybody involved if we hadn't. But hey, look. Very user. Following you, Bitty, which is really bite. Locate the archive bin and retrieve the a bit. A bite can say eight more things than a bit can. Right, so this is actually getting to the properly run. Like I was saying, there's RPG elements to it, so you get to pick how you build your character over time. And uh, in this situation, I would like to try uh, something a little bit more gung ho. But there's a there's a lot of lore in this game. I don't know if you care. Um. I'm going to read it anyway, because it's more my style. I know a lot of you just gloss over it. But this is this game, this is... This should be a, should have been the sequel to Tron. But it, well, they could have easily made Tron Legacy the sequel to this. We're thrilled to announce that our very own Mr. Alan Bradley, my dad, his dad, Jet, Jet's dad, my character, has been awarded the highly coveted International Academy of Intelligence Artificiel's Digital Pad Award for his latest iteration of the Freer. Please join us, Mr. Bradley. So Alan wrote Mithria. I believe that Alan wrote um, the original Tron program. I can't remember the exact story. I had to look on Wikipedia to refresh myself, and uh, it had not enough information in it. So you can acquire this opportunity that increases jump height. Oh, Rami is not dead. You, the other program was so emotionally wound up, and it just turned out he was right there all along. I I'm running all the time. This footstep sound is the sound. Okay, nothing now. <laughs> well done, me. It's the sound that we originally used in that they originally used in Tron in the first place. Um, for walking around in, and honestly, to me, it's one of the quintessential things about Tron. So if you Thanks, liked Tron, <laughs> you. That's part of it, that sound. Here we go, why amp? Alpha subroutine, 25 energy. Um, but they didn't use it in Tron Legacy, and that, for me, that ruined the film. <laughs> so, it sounds like the sort of thing that some, like, upside down glasses nerd would say. But. I. So, what you do is you, you pick. Hello? Bring this back. Did you go? How did you? There we go. Ah, it's slightly off. It must be the um. It must be the resolution difference. So this requires three things. Might as well put it here. Increases your jump height. Base energy use none. I think basically when you jump, it costs energy. Ow! Do not want. Let you download help. Um, I don't want to sound like someone who wears their glasses upside down uh, in order to when when I talk about the um, something as trivial as jump height, jump height, something as trivial as the uh, footstep sound ruining a film for me. But... You can right click on it, so that's easy. Uh, when you change sector, you uh, reconfigure your subroutines, your skills, which is pretty cool. Press F1 to enable it. <laughs> How do I do it? Am I jumping higher? I do not feel like I'm jumping higher. That doesn't seem right. Does that seem right? Subroutines. Why oh, was jump higher? Right. Installing subroutines. Click on the subroutine with the left mouse button and drop it into an empty slot with the left mouse button. Once it is installed, press F1 to enable subroutine. Do I not have enough energy? Because F1 is this. This is F1. <laughs> Give me this. Yes. F1. Oh, feels higher. Oh. 
Oh, where's this stupid loser? Um, but I th it's such an important part of Tron, is what I was saying, that it makes the right noises. To remove it, it's just a, a film in a weird place, you know? And nothing special about that cord, um. I feel like something is not correct. It is installed in the upper right. Do you see that? Where my uh, weapon is. Kind of difficult to hit these things and also dodge their incoming shots. Especially when they take two hits. Uh, weapon efficiency might actually turn out to be something that we're, import that we're interested in. Ow, I was walked straight into that because I was so focused on getting my... Ow. Disc back. There we go. Uh, see, I don't want that to disappear. But also, ooh, I need something. Quick. I don't know what this picture in the bottom right is, by the way. We've got a new subroutine. Profile. Oh dear. That's a problem. Uh, this is corrupt. 100% corrupt. So you can't actually use this. I mean, you can install it, but it's not going to do anything. Uh, you need to fix it, <laughs> basically. It doesn't seem to fit. It says defense there and utility there, but it doesn't say anything up here. I think there's missing... That was designed for a, a different screen, to be honest. Thanks Hello. Program. I was afraid my subroutines were going to become infected. Follow me to the exit. Oh, yeah. oh it did work. Okay, cool. United with bike at Let's have a look in here. Uh, there is a better version of Profiler, i.e. one that doesn't is going to kill me. Uh, evident writers, Mr. Pratty is not available to attend the award presentation. For those who are interested, a copy of the award certificate will be featured in the next company newsletter. I don't know what happened to Mr. Bradley. Uh, but also, uh, let us keep the clean one. So I think that just straight up replaced it. It didn't even... Yeah, it's just replaced it. Hooray, we left. Nice. Um, keep going. Ooh, law. Primary ICP domain. Kernel system scans indicate partitions 5 through 32 are infected. Kernel. Block all right access privileges and send in more intrusion countermeasure programs. Yes, sir. Have you isolated the source? Not yet, sir. However, we've picked up the signature of an unauthorized program in the sector. Quarantine and bring the program to me immediately. Back in your box. So what are you exactly? A bit? A bit. Ha, I'm a byte. But Bria wouldn't send a simple bit to do a byte's job. Let me tell you, mister. Shh. What is that thing? Optimizer, nice. So optimizers make a thing take up less space. So I would like to... Oh yeah, you put it... Yeah. Try not to corrupt the optimizer. So that is now smaller than it was. Uh, oh, did that improve its... Oh, it's beta now. I think it gets smaller and better at the same time. It's better. <laughs> better. Uh, so now we've got 30% increased jump height. Whee! You do not have the proper permission set to enter the power stream control sector. I would like HP. This is a problem because there was an infinite one where we left. So, <laughs> whoops. Another email. Quick, read it. Plus five energy. Look, son, I know you have a problem with working at the same company as your old man, but I've heard that the games division is looking for an entry-level programmer. It doesn't pay very well, but it's a foot in the door. Perhaps after a few months, you can switch over to R&D. Anyway, I won't co-sign for the lease on your new apartment unless you have a job, so I suggest you send in your resume immediately. Don't let pride get in the way of your better judgment. Deactivate Sekros. So this is going to produce... And the misinformation. There's a permission bit running around somewhere. We need to find it without getting corrupted ourselves. Dead. Because we've only got a little bit of HP left. This is really hard. Per your request, I checked our company handbook and there doesn't appear to be any problem with your son working here. No matter nepotism, at least. Winky face. Back in 2003. Cool. Send his resume over and I'll get it in the system. 
I think the original Tron was 19, 1983. So, uh, unfortunately, we don't have the technology now as we have been expecting. I mean, Back to the Future was expecting something in 2015. There was no idea what we had. So, sorry, a bit of concentration involved here. Uh, so, you know. That's just movie-based disappointment for you. Oh! I didn't save it. I didn't save it. Please have quick loaded on weekend. I'm going to leave it here. Because that is frustrating. <laughs> Save the game. Not saving on transitions is just absurd. Is there a load or... Yeah. So, whatever. I'm still going to leave it here. That's about half an hour. I'm going to chop a little bit out, but not that much. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you're enjoying this. This is going to be great. Uh, first of all, you get to see me. And then secondly, this is history, dudes. This is history. And this black is blows my mind. I love this game and it has influenced so much of everything in the way I think and all that sort of stuff that I think everybody should see it. You should definitely see it before the age of maybe 16 because if you're old like me, you're not really being... Your brain plasticity is gone, so you're not getting the best out of it. Sorry. But it's still cool. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you join me in the next episode because we're going to play through this entire game no matter how many times I die. So until next time, thanks for watching. And I'm going to have to alt tab, but I will see you later.